Okay, welcome to the Dean Bodie Podcast. How's everybody doing? And um, hope you're having a great Saturday and uh, having going to have a great weekend and everything's going okay um, with our pandemic situation. And we're doing a little video slash audio for the first time and let's see how it turns out. This way I can get a video of me doing Dean Bodie Podcast and do some special effects and maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't, but um, let's try a special effect right now. Booyah! And we'll see how that turns out when we're all done with this, but I thought today that I would um, get into a little bit of a story. Um, before I do that, though, a little bit about the Dean and Bodie Day. Um, man, let me tell you, we started the day off with New York Deli Uber Eats delivery Bagel, cream cheese, lox, had a couple croissants with some ham and cheese and some egg and chopped that up for Bodie, minus the bread, of course, and um, she enjoyed that. Well, I enjoyed uh, my bagel treat, which I have once in a while, just reminds me of my childhood. Unbelievably delicious, very New York style deli-ish, and that's how we started our day. Went on a couple nice walks today. And, you know, a beautiful day, sun was shining, and, um, you know, also did a little relaxation, got a little nap in, and um, it's been one of those um, just kind of cool days, and just thought we'd uh, do another episode today, a Dean Bodie podcast, and uh, while we're trying to get it all dialed in and figured out, and yeah, we're going to make some mistakes, and things don't have to be perfectly edited right now, and all of that stuff, and that's the whole fun of this kind of learning as you go and finding different courses like on YouTube to help you out and figure it out one little bite-sized piece at a time is how is how I learn best anyway and um, I you know YouTube doesn't have it I don't know what does and if Google doesn't have the answer I don't know who does so um, as we say around here in the Dean Bodie podcast, if I don't know the answer, Bodie will, because Bodie has a very close friend that starts with a G and ends with an E, and I'll let you fill in the blank, and uh, we can find the answer about anything. So if you wanted to learn how to clean your pop-up toaster from 1977, the GE model, there's only like one left on the planet. I promise you, there's a few videos on there <laughs> how to take it apart and put it back together and step-by-step -step instructions on that whole thing. So that being said, uh, it makes it uh, kind of interesting uh, when you're starting something like this and, and bobbing and weaving. You don't learn from things you do right, remember. You learn from the mistakes you make and things that you do wrong. But the theme of this podcast, I know I've been thinking about sports lately and you know, along with the uh, the NFL draft and all these things going on with um, not being able to play certain games and certain sports because of uh, the COVID and the big crowds and all that stuff. We're trying to navigate through all that craziness. So is there going to be an NFL season this year or not? Who knows? Um, everything's upside down, you know. But it made me think about my little league sports of all things and particularly – Little League Baseball, and this is when I was in Miami as a kid and used to play uh, my Little League sports at a place called K-Land, and we had a great baseball team at the time. We went all the way, we went undefeated, we won the World Series um, in that league that year, and one particular incident was when I, true story, I hit a uh, in-the-park Grand Slam, right, and the coach at the time uh, was a friend of mine's father, and uh, he benched me after that. That doesn't that sounds like a weird thing to do, but it's a true story, and um, I'll give you the I'll tell you the reason. What happened was, got up to bat, and he told me to take the first pitch, and in baseball, take the first pitch means let it go. This pitch was so perfect and right down the middle, there was no way in the world that I was going to let this thing go. So I smacked this thing. It went all the way to the wall, bounced off the wall. I ran as fast as I could first, all around in second, round in third, and they were waving me on. And I got into a hot box between third and home. And those of you who don't know what a hot box is, 
I'm sure most of you do, but that's when like the catcher, the third baseman's got the ball and you're stuck in between these two players and you're kind of going back and forth and wondering which one is going to try to tag you out and you got to just run back and forth, try to zigzag and stay within the baseline. And I totally got through it, faked the one guy out. I'd act like I was going to run the one way towards third and I um, darted back the other way towards home, slid like on my stomach and scored. <laughs> what a crazy in the park and the bases were loaded. I got to the end. I'm freaking out. I'm celebrating. I, on my mind, the whole take the first pitch was not even on my mind. I was like, wow, who's not going to be not only fired up for the team, but nice going and maybe I was wrong. That wasn't the case. When you don't listen to your coach, you get thrown on the bench. And that was the whole thing. And I made this connection. Oh, my God. It must have been, I don't know, 2010. When I first got on Facebook and I was making these connections with some uh, friends of the past, you know, going way back, man, to um, the 70s. And I got in touch with the kid that played first base and his father was the coach. He was a great coach, by the way. He used to coach um, uh, like minor league basketball. And so he had some skills in the coaching department. Very smart guy. He was a lawyer. And um, the whole family was smart. And I remember it like it was yesterday. And I brought it up to my friend on Facebook. And he actually told his father about that time and this is going back so far, decades, you know. Um, and his father remembers that incident. He totally remembered it. And I'm thinking, of course you remembered it, you know. When you ruin the kid's day, it scarred me for life. You don't forget that. <laughs> it's still with me today. And obviously it was still with him because he remembered it like it was nothing. But, you know, look, that, that's that whole thing between player and coach and the respect and, you know, Whatever it taught me, it taught me to always listen to your coach at the same time. I think that he's kind of mulling it over over the years. And, hey, he did swing. He did use his best judgment. And he did get an in-the-park grand slam. So maybe we can put that one behind us. So that's the story for today. And, you know, unbelievable, right? So we're just here chilling out here. Um, well, again, a beautiful day out here in Dallas, Texas. And, um, you know... Hardly watched anything on TV today, any news or anything that was just going to, you know, put the yuckies in your brain. It's just the same talking heads about the same thing. And it's time to open up the country. Let's get going. You want to do it in a smart way, of course. We get it. All right. We get it. But it's you can't just like shut the whole economy down and expect us to just recover um, it's never going to be the same again. How are we going to go about this? And how is it going to change how everything operates? Well, it's going to change. You know, as far as the recovery after this, it's going to be an interesting thing to see. I never thought in my lifetime that I would even witness anything like this. And at the same time, you know, grateful to be alive and um, have another day to move forward. And still, you know, try to focus on some goals and some dreams. And I'm learning this new thing with the podcast and the video uh, for my YouTube channel. And I'm far from being an expert at this. And I'm waiting for the Apple and the Google to, um, you know, what do you call it? Uh, um, I submitted my my podcast to those two sites or um, whatever you want to <laughs> whatever you want to call them. And I'm waiting for their approval. And once up to five business days could be two weeks and you know i'm going through this and learning for the first time so it's good to learn something new you know it gets you it gets it cleans the cobwebs out of your brain and um you know it's like um go through the struggle of it go through the challenge and go through that tug of war and the frustration and you know i got like you know the microphone and this this boom sticking at me like i have a real podcast station here um, I got my phone over here as I'm looking at it right now. It's got a little microphone on it, videotaping me doing the podcast. How that's going to sound, I have no idea. 
but we're going to roll with it and we're going to post it just like it is so I can look back at this one day and go, wow, remember when I didn't even edit or I didn't care if it was cleaned up real nice or, wow, I didn't shave and I just just did it as as is. You can do whatever you want now. This is This is my podcast, you know? You don't like it, you don't like the way it looks and you're watching it. Get your own show, you know? Remember watching Emeril Lagasse on the Food Network, <laughs> and he would be making the recipes. He, he was the guy that went bam and he put the spices in the in the recipes and <laughs> bam. And uh, he, he would say, "If you don't like it, get your own show." You know, that's how I feel right now, and that's the whole thing. It's very liberating. Just kind of go at it with the raw, be yourself. And um, I could tell already, little by little, I'm going to be kind of coming out and get tapping back into you know, my sense of humor and, you know, my outgoingness and, you know, stories about my life. Man, we all have a million stories. And so if you got some stories you want to tell, and maybe one day we'll get some callers on here too, have them call in and I can use the, the real uh, caller question on, on this. That's going to be coming. Um, in the meantime, we got Dean Bodie at gmail.com. That's D E A N B O D I at gmail.com. Um, you can send your comments, questions there. You can um, any kind of short story you want to put in there or wisdom you want to share. We can use uh, somebody's um, you know life experience or whatever you want to share that uh, on one of the episodes. And you know, let's build a little community. We're all here to help one another. Everybody's got a bunch of wisdom at any age at this point in time. The learning curve of, with the technology today is way faster than when I was a kid. And uh, so we're going to kind of go at it that way, kind of keep it as raw as we can. Who knows? Maybe I don't want to edit any of it. Maybe I just want to, maybe this will work out and that video that I'm looking at right now is going to come out okay. And uh, as I'm waving, yay, we're doing it, yay. And we'll see <laughs> how it all turns out. But um, this kind of thing, uh, you're like kind of by yourself and doing your own thing. At the same time, you're getting this out to the world. Um and that's how it's going to be when these other platforms hopefully approve my submission uh, of my uh, my new podcast, and we get on these things and Apple iTunes and Google and Spotify and Stitcher and whatever else I learned. There's some other ones too, but from what I understand, what I just said, that's about 99% of the podcasts out there. And you know, um, you know, we're going through different different looks and different. Um, camera placements and things like that with lighting and all these things. Who knows how it's going to turn out until you do it. And then you know what? If it comes out lousy, well, you know to make a change next time. If it comes out really good, hey, well, look at that. We can do it that way again. Yay, me. So that's my uh, Little League Baseball story. I've got a lot of stories like that. And this is going back way back to the 70s. Um, man, Kay Land in Miami had such a great childhood down there. Little League baseball, Little League football, and we got more stories about that stuff too. And it's kind of endless. And uh, it was kind of fun, uh, fun <clears throat> talking about that today. And um, so we're going to end the podcast now. Thanks for joining us here at the Dean Bodie podcast. And that was a lot of fun sharing uh, some memories with you. And, um, Bodhi, my beautiful Shiba Inu of my life, is behind me taking a nap. And if I had the camera, I would swing it around and show you where she's on the back of the love seat there, just chilling and listening to me do my thing. And um, I actually think that she understands some of the some of the words at this point in time. We have some incredible communication. Um, really been a, a game changer in my life. And if you don't have a dog or if you do have a dog, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, um, I highly recommend it. I'm telling you, it's just unbelievable, the relationship, and um, very special to me. And Bodhi is, uh, is my joy. So we say Dean Bodhi podcast because Dean Bodhi is like it's one word because we're one. You know, she completes me. <laughs> so um, hope everybody has a great weekend. And... Um, we will see you next time, um, next episode. I'm probably going to be doing these daily. 
uh, just because it's so much fun and so many stories to tell. And while we're going through this crazy thing, keep yourself, uh, your head screwed on straight. Stay positive. Keep moving forward. Don't forget about your dreams and goals. Um, and, you know, don't forget to share the, some of your wisdom and your stories with us. And we'll share it uh, with everyone on Dean Bodie Podcast. Again, deanbodie at gmail.com. Have an awesome weekend, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.